Hey guys, what is going on? Thank you very much for tuning into today's video. Today we have another G Fuel review for you guys, and it's a very special one because it's a second collector's box, the Divine Peach, which is a peach kiwi dragon fruit blend of really, really awesome stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited. Let's not waste any time and get straight into the review. Enjoy this one, boys. <music> All right, guys, so here we have it, the Divine Peach Collector's Box. Look at this beautiful, beautiful design that G Fuel have come up with. I love the yellow, red, orange, white color scheme. Obviously, you have Moist Critical, which uh, is the creator that the flavor was inspired after, and you can see they depicted him as some sentient god being who has a really cool appearance to him. I love the black and white and contrast with the colors bursting out on the tub, or on the box, sorry. And as you can see, there's some sort of phoenix kind of dragon bird character on the left side of the box, which is pretty dope. It looks really, really nice, man. I love this. Similar to the uh, Doozy Fruit um, color theme on the box, it's kind of that similar orange, red, you know, high contrasting, really nice colors. That's what the top of it looks like. As you see, you have the G Fuel logo with a couple of clouds, which look really nice. And as you can see, the left side of the collector's box, you have the Gamma Turbine, which is really nice with more clouds. And then the back of the box, as you can see, it's a very similar design to what we have up front. Again, with the Moist Critical character here and the Phoenix right there. I really do love the artwork that they've done for this. And they never really miss with these collector's boxes, man. The designers over at G Fuel are very, very talented. They know what they're doing and they do a great job every single time. So let's go ahead and crack into the contents of the collector's box because that's what we're here for, right? So let's crack open the top and let's pull out the shaker first, which, ooh, a nice orange and black colorway with this one, which is cool because I haven't really got a orange shaker yet, which is nice. I believe this is the Moist Critical logo, but then what is this? Hmm, all right, anyone in the comments below, if you guys watch Moist Critical, tell me you know, what the difference between these two are. But yeah, let's see what color the divider is. Nice, and it's almost like that mango papaya orange, which is nice. If you watch, if any of you watch F1, it's like the McLaren team color, kind of. But yeah, really nice shaker. Let's go ahead and access the sticker now, which is really dope. This is the first sticker that I have that is not, you know, the square cutout ones. This has its own freeform design. And as you can see, it's the most critical character with the phoenix. He's floating in the heavens. It looks really, really nice. So that's really dope. That's definitely one of my favorite stickers that I have up to this point. And lastly, let's get the main attraction out, which is our Divine Peach G Fuel Tub 40 servings. Look at that. It's beautiful. One of the best designs that I have seen in a while, man. I love when they add the... Um, the character of the, uh, you know, the streamer or the video game. I love when they add the characters to the tubs. I think they make them look so much better. Let's do a quick 360 shot, ingredients label. Oh man, really, really nice. It's kind of giving like Thanksgiving vibes with this colorway with the kind of like dark orange and the light orange. You know what I mean? Kind of Thanksgiving. But yeah, that's what you're going to get in your Divine Peach Collector's Box, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and crack open the tub, what we've all been waiting for. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and crack open this bad boy. As always, there's a little notch in the sticker there. So you're going to put your thumb in there and then twist all the way around so you can pierce the sticker and get into the contents of the tub. Get that lid off. And you can remove this top part of the sticker, but I do like keeping it on. I think it completes the look of the tub. And then you have your blue pull tab, so you'll pull that up, grab it from the end, and give it a slight tug, and it should come off. I'm incredibly weak, so it's taking a bit more effort, but here we are. There is the Divine Peach Powder. And if you didn't know, guys, the Divine Peach is a mix of peach, kiwi, and dragon fruit. And the thing that really attracted me to this tub was the dragon fruit element of the flavor profile. So I'm hoping it comes through and it's not just, you know, one of the labels they use to make it sound interesting. I hope it, you really do taste dragon fruit in there. But let's go ahead and get a quick smell test of the powder in, guys. 
Oh, wow, that is nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's like a... That does remind me of those, like, sour belts that you have. It's, it, it gives a really nice sweet candy flavor off. It's like a peach sour belt, if you've ever had one. Mmm, that's really inviting. But yeah, definitely peach is at the forefront of the smell. Let's see if it translates over into the actual mixing of the powder. But yeah, if you don't know how to mix G Fuel, guys, you're going to take your 16 ounces of water inside the winter white shaker. And I do like to only put 16 ounces so it doesn't mess up with the ratios of the G Fuel mix itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your tub and you're going to fish around and there should be a scooper somewhere here. There we go. It's hidden under all this powder. So you're going to try and fish it up. Ooh, that was a tough one. Okay. And as you can see, there's a lot of excess. So the first thing you'll do is you're going to grab it and then just shake all that out so you don't waste any of your precious, precious G Fuel powder. And once that's all done, you will see there is a top part on top of the scooper, which is used for water bottle funneling. But if you use shakers like I do, you don't need to use this. So you're going to twist it and just remove it like so. There we go. And then twist. And please give me a couple seconds while I uh, clean up my hands on my desk, a little bit of powder. All right, that is much better. So now that you've prepped your scooper for one scoop of the divine peach, you're going to go into your powder just like so, and you're gonna try to get one full scoop of the Divine Peach. And now I do not like to overfill or dome my powder over the top because I think it leads to chalky G Fuel. So as you can see, one full scoop, no more, no less. And then you're gonna grab your Winter White Shaker and then boom, simple as that. Now you are ready for the patented shake session that we do on our channel and as always i do recommend one to one and a half minutes for your shake sessions so let's go ahead and grab our lid screw that on top and always make sure to close this otherwise you're in for a bad situation but yeah let's go ahead and do our shake session guys one to one and a half minutes here we go All right, guys, so here we have it, the Shaken Up Divine Peach Formula. And as you can see, it's a beautiful peachy pink, light pink orange sort of vibe with the color. It looks very, very nice. Very reminiscent of like a typical peach soda or like a peach uh, fruit drink that you would get. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what the Divine Peach smells like. Ooh, that's a good lid pop. Oh, wow extremely similar to the to the powder actually it's that really sweet candy peach uh, smell which is really inviting i'm a big fan of it mm. i just hope that the flavor isn't overpoweringly peach because i really want to see that kiwi and the dragon fruit shine through mm. okay yeah it's gotten me in the mood that's a really really nice smell super peachy super strong i do like that so let's go ahead and waste no more time and get straight into the Divine Peach taste test. But before we do that, could you please go ahead and drop a like on the video, comment if you have any questions for me, as well as subscribe to the channel. It would help me out so much with the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, the Divine Peach. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, wow. So, it, oh, straight away, it's super peachy. That is definitely, definitely the dominant um, component of the flavor, but when you taste it, there is something else that hits you from the side, and it's probably a mix of the kiwi and the dragon fruit. I'm not too familiar with um, the dragon fruit, like, taste, because, I, I mean, I don't think many of us just eat dragon fruit, right? But I do definitely taste some hints of the kiwi in there. Mmm. Mm. That is that is very nice. And this is one of the first peach flavors that I have from G Fuel, and I know they do have a lot of them out there with the Sonic Peach Rings, 
and some of the sage mode the recent naruto one but yeah this is really good they do make a very nice formula with the peach that's really good and it's really nice because it's not overpoweringly sweet the peach is definitely there but it's not sickeningly sweet which i feared it may be that's really nice um we could do like the percentages of the fruits in in this flavor i think it's definitely 60 percent peach with the 40, the remaining 40% split between the kiwi and the dragon fruit. Like, we're not kidding anyone. It's called divine peach, right? So obviously the forefront of the flavor is gonna be peach, but it's really mellow. It's not strong at all. It does leave a little bit of a sweet peachy aftertaste and residue in the back of your throat once you drink it, but it is really pleasant. I would say it's one of the me more mellow flavors. I don't think it's a strong, punchy flavor. It's really nice, man. Um, mm, yeah, it's really good. I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm glad because I didn't know if I was gonna like the peach stuff that G Fuel came out with. So I'm glad that I can, you know, move into that and explore that a bit more. But yeah, peach is really good. And as you can see, a beautiful new collector's box added to the collection. It's going to look really good in my tower. I can't wait to show you guys that. But yeah, let's move on to a rating now for the Divine Peach. Um, it's definitely up there, man. I think it does make the eight category, which is a very good sign. Eight is normally the cutoff where I say, yeah, it's a really good flavor. And eight and above is really good. So I think we're going to go for 8.3 for this one, ladies and gentlemen. 8.3 for the Divine Peach. A very solid flavor. I would have maybe liked a little more dragon fruit in there, but overall, I'm not complaining. A lovely, lovely peach drink. Mm. But yeah, let me know what you think of Divine Peach down in the comments. It's going to wrap up the review today. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, please like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.